Welcome back to Stuart Science. Today we're talking about what's called the normal force. Now the normal force is a force caused by a surface. And so I have a little model here of what a surface might look like. When I push on the surface, you can see that the molecules kind of get a little bit closer. They bend a little bit. And so even though you can't see it, when you push on a surface, that surface bends just a little bit and causes a force back on whatever pushes on it. We call that force, that, that bending force that pushes back on something, when it's caused by a surface, it's called the normal force. So for example, when I was younger, I got into a fist fight with a kid at a, at a dance, and I got really mad at him, and so rather than punch him, I punched a gym mat. And behind the gym mat, was a brick wall, and so I broke my hand. The reason why I broke my hand is because I pushed on the surface and the surface pushed back, and that force of the surface back on my hand is what broke my hand, and that's what we call the normal force. So I have some examples for you today. So here we have a coffee cup sitting on a table, and the question would be, is there a normal force here? And the answer is yes, because it's sitting on a surface right here. There's a force that's pushing up on the coffee cup, and that's called the normal force. So in this case, the normal force would be upward because the cup is pushing down on the surface. So the normal force always acts perpendicular to the surface. So whatever way you're pushing on the surface, whatever way the surface is facing, the normal force goes straight up from that surface. Here's another example. If you're doing a wall push-up, if she's pushing this way on the wall, then the normal force in this case is that way. So the normal force is out of the surface. Since the surface is up and down, she's pushing this way, the normal force is pushing that way. Here's another example. Here's a guy pushing up on a ceiling tile on a ladder. He's pushing up on the ceiling tile, so in this case, the normal force would be down. One last example. Here's a car going down a ramp. Since the ramp is at that angle, the normal force would be that way. Now, we're probably going to keep to surfaces that are sideways or up and down. And so it'll be the opposite of that. We usually will only go left, right, up, or down. But in this case, since the surface is at an angle, the normal force is at an angle too. So there it is. That's all uh, F2 is. It says describe the normal force. The normal force is the force of a surface pushing back. Now, be careful. Sometimes things are hanging from strings or there's no gravity. If there's no surface, there's no normal force. But if there's a surface that's pushing back on something, that's always called the normal force. As always, keep learning no matter what.